Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to check the oil in your BMW. Now, this is both easier and more difficult than it would seem. Older BMWs, you only had to pull the dipstick out when the car was sitting still, and you would find out uh, what the level was. Newer cars, including like this E92 M3, or a 2021 BMW X3, you actually have to ask the car to check the oil because it has an electronic dipstick. And it will only do that when the car is up to operating temperature. So the most important thing to know is that your BMW will tell you if the engine oil is low. So that's the easy part about knowing how to check the oil on a BMW. If you wanna look and see what the level is, let me show you how to do that on the BMW iDrive system. First, you wanna select a menu. Under menu, you wanna scroll down and select car. So on car, once you hit car, you want to choose vehicle status. You're going to see the tire pressure monitor, the oil level indicator, the check control, and whether or not there are any indicated services such as uh, the oil services do. So select vehicle status. Under vehicle status, check oil level. It's going to ask, it's going to tell you, even though the car is not physically running, it's going to tell you that the oil level is okay. It knows this because the last time the car was on, it knew that the oil level was okay, and that's what it's telling you. That's what newer ones do. Older ones will tell you that you have to get the engine to operating temperature before it'll tell you. So if you want to manually do it, click engine oil measurement. It's going to tell you that you need to be in neutral or park, don't press this gas, and it has to be at operating temperature on a level surface. So if you try to start measurement in the car and it's not warm, you have to go drive it first. All right, so I've driven approximately four miles. No electric. I've been forcing the car to do the gas instead of electric by um, putting it in sport. And so now it says it's ready to start measurement. So we'll start measurement. What's odd, it says with the engine running. When I put a plug-in hybrid in neutral or park for BMW, it turns the engine off. So let's see if it starts the engine with the oil measurement. Yes, it did. It just started the engine, which it does not show here, uh, but it does actually, you can actually hear the engine right now. And it says engine measurement, measuring engine oil level progress and giving me a countdown. All right, it says engine oil measurement level is okay. It just shut the engine off and you can see the maximum minimum so the dipstick if you had a dipstick in your hand it would be at the top so minimum if it's below this level you want to add oil um, but this particular car uh, the engine oil level is good and it never really registered that it was running the motor uh, but clearly it was some type of program in the car Let's take this one out and warm the engine up and then we'll check the oil. With the E92 M3, when you want warm it up, you'll notice on the M3s that it has kind of a graduated red line. So as the car warms up, the red line will move farther out. So it's really important not to over rev it before it actually gets warm enough. A couple more on and off ramps and that should take care of it. There's about 200 Fahrenheit, there's 5,500 RPM. And then we will pull over and uh, see if the car is ready to check the oil yet. Here you can see that the oil level is just a little bit below the maximum. Now it is important to note that you should not ever be above the max amount or below the minimum amount. Either one is bad for the car. There are the rare cars from the early 2000s with an electronic dipstick and no eye drive. In this case, you will need to check the oil level once the engine is up to operating temperature with a button that is in between the speedometer and the odometer. Also, if you have a much older BMW and it actually has an oil dipstick, I actually recommend checking the oil twice. Once, you need to wipe and clean the oil dipstick off to make sure that there's no oil splashed on it from when you stopped and the second time will actually give you the most accurate level. 
because that way the dipstick is clean and you will see the actual amount in the car. The most frustrating part to me about an electronic dipstick is the fact that if you're a DIYer like me and you've changed the oil, I like to make sure that the oil level is correct before starting the engine. You absolutely have to know the oil level capacity of the BMW before you start the DIY. If you have any questions, please leave some comments down below and I will be sure to answer them. Also, if you have other ideas of some kind of how-to you would like us to do for your BMW, uh, leave those comments down there too and I'll be happy to make that video. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our BMW blog YouTube channel. Cheers! If you're curious and want to see our oil changes on any of these vehicles, please see the links below.